RC30 and uh, this is called Under the Streetlight and I've just set some rhythm track up so I'm going to play over that and play with the volume control and see if we can't get it to sound different as the volume increases so here we go <laughs> straight off the bat the pickups sound really really cool they're Australian made pickups they're basically a vintage style P90 they do buzz a little bit but that's common for all of these guitars if I was playing my Gibson in this room that has the P90s it would sound exactly the same in terms of buzz so that's neither a pro nor a con it's just one of those things um, what I do like is this fixed tailpiece bridge here it's very very cool I wouldn't probably like to see that a little further back from this pickup, but if that's where it has to be, that's totally cool too. I think uh, it definitely has a, a very unique look about it, this guitar. And I've got to say, the thing I love most about it is this finish. It is unbelievable. It looks like something that would be an extremely high-end piece of furniture somewhere. It is beautiful. And I say that in a good way, not to say it's of less quality than normal guitars. I actually mean that as in a hell of a lot more love has gone into this piece of wood than what you'd find on a lot of guitars. Instead of just laminating it and hiding all the flaws, 
what Dave has done is basically give you a really beautiful sounding piece of Australian timber and then you can see it and it's another thing I love about this too is that the guitar it's basically a straight through neck so all this one whole this is all one piece all the way from here all the way down to there that's all one piece of wood and then he's put both sections together here on the on the neck so a lot of the good tone guitars are like that uh, bolt on necks still sound pretty cool too but I really like the fact that he's done that I think it separates it from a lot of the guitars on the market it does kind of look like a mix between something like a Paul Reed Smith a 335 and a Les Paul so it's right in the middle of all of those guitars I think the great thing about this design is it's very uniform I know a lot of people that would love to have a guitar that looks like this it looks a little different and only in the good ways it doesn't sort of just try to rip off a strap it's very very different now what I really love about this guitar is the neck it's probably a little hard to see but it is super big it's really quite large and for those strap players out there it's kind of like a 1954 neck it's quite big it's a uh, as big as some of the uh, I think the 1951 tally it's quite a huge neck and that's great to play I love it now given Dave Street and Little Crow Guitars have only started building these there's maybe some room to improve but not a whole lot what I'd like to see is maybe this cavity on the back being a little bit bigger to make wiring slight if you do change pickups or anything to make that a lot easier I'd make that a little bit bigger I know that's probably about a Les Paul style size cavity here but internally I would like to see a little bit more space if that's possible in terms of weight it's relatively heavy but it's not as heavy as my GNL Telecaster so it is this is a guitar that would weigh about the same as a regular US strap maybe a little more it's well balanced I'm not doing anything and it's literally just sitting on my lap and that is another great feature I love the headstock as well this headstock looks the business if you're wondering what that is it's my tuner so the headstock looks cool I love its simple approach and simple design one of the best things about this guitar is this volume and tone that's it you don't have four buttons to fiddle with you get your volume set and you get your tone set I, I really like what he's done with this guitar and other than that it just plays and sounds exactly like you heard it I have no pedals in my chain except for the loop pedal so everything you heard early on is literally just the Excelsior it's all the way close to being a full blast which gives it that really fat saturated sound these guitars please support Dave Street and Little Crow Guitars follow the link to the Facebook page and check him out and connect because he can build these for people so um, I don't know what he charges for these but it's a beautiful looking guitar and I've got to say like just check that out that is amazing it's just a really world-class kind of finish and this neck is to absolute die for look at that it is just fantastic it's just one beautiful piece of timber there it is I'm blown away thanks a lot Dave I appreciate all your efforts in getting this to me it's basically for all the US people it's like traveling from Seattle to Florida in a straight line so it's a long long way so thanks for sending that Dave I wish you all the best and it was a real privilege to uh, be the first one to demo one of your guitars on the internet if you ever make any more lefties I'll be more than happy to do more so thanks again cheers see ya